I do believe that documentary films uh, can benefit from interactivity, but I, I really do believe that not all documentary films require interactivity. There are some stories that are simple, more important to just touch the heart and be direct. And there will be some, some documentaries that will require the interactivity because of its depth and complexity. The project that I'm here with uh, at the uh, IDFA Doc Lab is actually a, a, a strong piece called Punched Out. It was a, a story about the life and death of a hockey enforcer named Derek Bugard. Number 94, Derek Bugard. It was uh, originally reported, as re re reported for the newspaper at the New York Times by John Branch, and the principal videographer director uh, is uh, Shayla Harris, who works for the video department of um, of the New York Times, where I worked um, as the multimedia editor and really put the teams together to put together the entire package as you see online. As soon as he laced up his skates and he got on the ice, then bang, then it was the booby man that was out there. Derek Bogard fought his way to center ice as an enforcer, one of the NHL's most feared fighters. And uh, so my involvement is, is creating the original vision of how do we tell an interactive story when it uh, can be told in multiple mediums such as text video, graphics, and photography. Uh, so throughout this entire narrative thread, which again, a user can experience this in a very passive, linear form, but there was so much more depth to the story, such as you know, the, the opportunity to show his career as a child, uh, the way he, he moved around in, in, around Canada, and to be able to, his family sacrifice to support this, and also the, the depth of hockey fights and how the, that was such a big, part of who he was and his life and how what defined him, but it also, it also meant ultimately his demise, right? So there was a lot of depth in that. Uh, I really do believe that interactivity is going to provide depth and detail that you wouldn't otherwise see um, and otherwise experience. And, and really, if you're looking at 20 hours of, of video and 20 hours of reporting, how do you sort of engage that with the reader without really um, sort of cutting the story short. So what we're doing is we're really providing depth in a different way so that again it, a, a, a viewer and a visitor and a user might have and translate that story in a different way. It's customized for them. Now will there be an expectation of a sense of engagement or being a part of the narrative itself? I think there is some path in that. There's some truth in the fact that there's opportunities to engage with our readers because there's interactivity, right? There's as the, as a little bit, not just depth, but personal engagement and personal personal uh, connection with the narrative. So, if there's interactivity that actually allows people to sort of feed into the system or actually experience the story in a different way, and that's added value to that, then I think you've made a stronger documentary because you've connected them in a personal level. So there's a quote about interactivity and engagement that really resonates with me and it's a and actually it's an Indian proverb about education and it goes something like uh, tell me something and I may forget show me and I will remember involve me and I'll understand and, I, and again that's a, it's such an important concept of understanding and and again a reason why interactivity and doc in, in documentaries help because if there's an opportunity for a reader to be involved in the storytelling process or even the story itself, um, it, it's a much more compelling way for them to be, to understand the concept and, the, and, the, and really the, the, the emotional aspect of the documentary.